If I were to ask you what the most venomous insect on Earth was, what would you say? Perhaps a bullet ant from the jungles of Central and South America? Or maybe the fearsome tarantula hawk from the southwestern United States? Chances are you'd probably guess some exotic creature from halfway across the world. And chances are, you'd be wrong. In fact, the most venomous insect on Earth might be a lot closer than you ever could have imagined. Today I find myself in the arid lands of southern Arizona, where I'm on the hunt for an insect that dwarfs even the infamous western diamondback rattlesnake in terms of toxicity. Why? Because that's my job. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and deadliest creatures alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most deadly and misunderstood animals. Now, this has brought me face to face with some of the most venomous organisms on Earth. And I've been able to have some surprising encounters that I would have never expected from such toxic animals. But enough talk. I'm on a mission today to find the most venomous insect in all of the world, the Maricopa Harvester Ant. Folks, basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm kind of walking these little dirt trails here. These Maricopa Harvester Ants, these venomous, venomous, venomous ants, are a lot smaller than my typical ants that I'm used to, my harvester ants, my red harvester ants, my Pagana Mermex Barbados that you've seen before on the channel. So it is going to be a bit of a bit of a search here to locate these ants, but luckily harvester ants, like maybe you've seen before, they like kind of open spaces. They like areas that get a lot of sun because they love to kind of attract with some nice kind of hot dirt. They like to they like to pile dirt on top of the nest and little pebbles to attract heat so that their brood, their larvae, their eggs can develop quickly so that they can start kind of taking over some of the brunt of the work. Uh, so all their sisters, you know, sometimes can have a little more help than uh, they normally would have. So it shouldn't be too difficult to find one of these, one of these colonies. And the, the true risk of today is going to be filming these lovely ant nests without experiencing that super toxic venom. So let's see if we can not just find them, but uh, find them and be unscathed after filming them. The first ants we encountered weren't the ones we were hoping for, but they were a sign we were on the right track. Folks, check this out. This is a great sign that we're on the right track. This is actually one of my favorite, all time favorite species of harvester ants. These are rough harvester ants and they're super, super dark. They can be almost completely black. And that just makes for a sleek, beautiful insect. We haven't quite found the species we're after yet, but seeing a species like these rough harvester ants active and out is a really, really good indication that we're here at the right time in the right place to find the harvester ants we're after. But these are such beautiful ants. They're kind of carrying little bits and pieces of food in and out of the nest. And they are just a gorgeous, sleek, beautiful ant species. Too cool. Now, it might seem like we're really roughing it out here, folks, and that we're out here in the heat of the day. And folks, you're very perceptive. You are very, very perceptive because that's exactly what we're doing here today. And that's because these ants, they love this hot, just beat down of the sun because they've got some really, really interesting adaptations for this kind of desert lifestyle. So these ants, they're out, they're just happy to go not hot to me out here. You hot to you? You're not hot to me. I'm enjoying myself. It's a beautiful day. All these these giant mammals walking all over us. They're sweating like pigs. Even though pigs don't sweat, that's just what ants think because they have misconceptions about mammals because you know they've just been ingrained in years and years and years of kind of misconceptions and ignorance. But that's okay. They're ants. They don't get a whole lot of outside news or or or, or data from anywhere else. But these ants perfectly adapted this desert lifestyle. So even though I, you know, I'm, I'm getting a sweat going, these ants, whoo, they couldn't be happier. Uh, so sadly, the discomfort for me is the uh, great comfort of these insects. And that's why, uh, that's why I'm putting myself uh, through it today for you lovely people. So we can hopefully get close enough to some of these ants and learn some cool stuff about them. Another species of harvester ant that's not the ones I'm looking for, great. 
Well, I guess we might as well check them out while we're here. Oh, no way. This is a huge nest. Is this our species here? Oh, man, it doesn't look like it. But check out all these harvester ants, folks. There are heaps and heaps and heaps of them here. This is yet again another great sign that we are on the right track. Oh, man, they're attacking my boots. They're trying to get me, folks. They're getting me. They're getting me. Once again, take a look. This is a huge nest. It's nice out in the open. Just like I said, we would be able to find them. So hopefully, it's just a matter of time before we get on the truly the deadliest species out here. But I probably should get out of the line of fire here because these harvester ants, they mean business with their nest. They, are, they can be really defensive if you get too close. But other than that, they're not terribly defensive or aggressive. After a fair bit of searching, I finally saw what looked like the ants I was after. Oh my gosh, no way, folks. Yes, yes, absolutely. This right here, these are our Maricopa harvester ants. Drop for drop, the most venomous insects in the world. Wow, there's so many. This is a gigantic nest. This is even bigger of a nest than I even thought we had the potential to see out here. I'm not kidding when I say these ants dwarf the Western Diamondback rattlesnakes with their venom. Some evidence shows that they are nearly 35 times as potent. That's right, the LD50 is 0.12 milligrams per kilogram, which compared to the Western Diamondback Rattlesnake's LD50 of 1.01 milligrams per kilogram is downright shocking. Now, LD50 measures the lethal dosage of venom required to kill 50% of all test subjects, so a smaller number per kilogram means the venom is much more potent and powerful. Now, what does this mean? Are these ants capable of killing as easily as a rattlesnake? Well, in short, no, of course not. It's important to note that venom yield plays a huge role in actual effects. Although the venom is many times more potent than the venom of a rattlesnake, it's negated by the fact that a rattlesnake can inject hundreds of times more of the venom yield of an average harvester ant. Potent venom in tiny dosage is often less of a concern than less potent venom in a massive dose. Still, a handful of stings from these ants could mean trouble, so it's best you don't linger too long on top of their nests, lest you find out. Wow, they are all over! This is so unbelievably cool! These are such amazing little insects here. Like I said, folks, drop for drop, these are so unbelievably toxic. If I were to get a little bit too close here, folks, I could be in some pretty serious danger if more than just a handful of these got a hold of me. And even though, you know, I'm pretty seasoned with my stings, the toxicity here is no joke, folks. These are such amazingly well-adapted little ants, and I'm so glad that we were finally able to find a beautifully gigantic colony. Now, of course, I planned to take a sting for you all to see just how painful and dangerous these ants truly are, though these insects had a different idea in mind. Let's take a look at what happened. Well, my friends, I've got my lovely little Maricopa harvester ant, quite a small species of harvester ant, actually. I'm going to uh, get this lovely gal out onto my arm here, and I'm gonna start recording here. Things looking great. <gasps> oh my gosh, folks. Harvester ant is on my skin. This all lined up. I think we're ready to go. Yo! Sting me! Sting me! Oh! Little sting. Try again. Try again. Try again. Oh my gosh. Stinger's too small. Ooh! Try again.
Now, it's unclear why these ants have developed such a toxic venom, especially since in my experience they seem so shy to use it. Perhaps the harsh realities of desert life helped guide these insects to having more and more potent venom. Or perhaps it's simply a happenstance accident. All we know is these insects and their venom is no joke. Arizona is packed with venomous creatures, some of which are the most venomous of their kind. So these harvesters are quite at home here. Now, it is just so special to be able to get in close proximity to insects that are this toxic. This is not a common attribute uh, for insects to kind of go toe to toe in terms of toxicity with some of the more venomous snakes on earth. These wonderful little harvester ants are desert specialists, like I've said all throughout this video. So these lovely little ants here are able to make such quick and efficient work of all these desert plants. We're coming into a nice solid springtime. And so all these little flowering plants and things, they got little seeds and things like that. And these harvester ants are just eating their fill, gathering so much of these seeds and little seed pods and things like that, as well as small insects, and dragging them into the depths of their nests. And of course, they use that powerful, potent venom, not only to kill and hunt their insect prey, but in defense of their nests and themselves as well. And it is no joke, folks. Right now, I can see them gathering all sorts of things to eat and they are just such wonderful little workers. I'm partial to ants, I think they're really cool, but even if you're maybe not a huge fan of ants, it's hard not to appreciate these super toxic species. If you're enjoying this video, try checking out my bullet ant sting video here. The bullet ant is one of the largest and most painfully stinging ants on earth, and I've been stung not once, but twice by these fantastic insects. Want to learn more about these ants and their powerful stings? Click the video card here or check the description below for the link to this video. I'll see you there. Now friends, this was just an amazing experience to come out here and see these Maricopa harvester ants. Truly, drop or drop, one of the most deadly insects on the planet. Their venom is truly no joke. But my friends, that's really all the time I've got for you today. We've got lots of places to go. We've got lots of things to try and find and see. Um, so we got to get moving. But I hope you enjoyed getting to learn about the most venomous ants on Earth. One of the most venomous animals here in the United States. And I hope that you had fun coming along with me. But uh, folks, it's time for me to bid you adieu. And uh, I hope to see you next week with the next upload. Every Friday, Central Standard Time, 10 a.m. Be there or be square. I hope that you join us next Friday, but even if you don't, my heart goes out to you. I feel sorry for you. Uh, you're missing some great stuff. But my friends, until then, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you then.